everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to more Let's Play Rugrats Search for Reptar for the PlayStation. I just looked and, uh, first of all, look at this clipping. Look at my face. Isn't that great? It's PlayStation 1 graphics. Speaking of that, I just looked. My uh, previous episode just rendered, got it onto iMovie, and it's in the same uh, aspect ratio that I didn't want. And I checked on my recording program, and it's in 16 by 9 so, I don't know why it's doing that. If anybody, I don't know. But I figured that's a good recording. We're going to keep it. So, uh, considering this is only going to be like one more episode, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Starting with Let There Be Light. Let Mommy turn on your nightlight, sweetie. That'll keep those shadow monsters away, champ. Still, you're going to frighten him. This new invention is going to put Pickles Toys on the map. Uh, I wonder where all the light went. Oh, I know. Uh, it's probably in the refrigerator. It's always hiding in there. I gotta go let it out. Yeah, this level always uh, freaked me out as a kid. So, your simple mission. Gotta take. Somebody must have I can't take my train with. Oh, I can. Throw, I can put down the flashlight. Hmm. So your simple mission is to just get down to the fridge, which would sound simple enough. But uh, the creepy thing about this level, these fucking ghosts, wh which uh, you know, they just show up. I'm gonna find the and the only scary the thing is, thing oh, I, I took do. falling damage. There's falling damage in this game. I did not know that. Scary thing is, oh, hello, Jesus. Scary thing is, I know the fridge is right back there. Scary thing is, these stupid ghosts are paper thin. See, watch. Easy, right? I'd win, right? How do I open the fridge? Open it by myself, but I got to get the light out. Wait, I got some idea. Spike can help me let the light out. Now all I got to do is find Spike. That's right. It's not that easy. Uh. Oh yeah, you can search the backyard as well. All right. Oh, there's a there's a there's a reptar bar. There we go. If I can glitch my way back to it. So you can get outside by pressing. Circle? Yeah, spiky, spiky, spiky. No, maybe. I'm, I know there's a way you can do it. Hang on, give me a second. Oh, it's, this is what we gotta interact with. Wait for it. There we go. See, yeah, uh, spiky, spiky, I love how the spiky. baby has free reign of the freaking house. Yeah, this is the backyard. Surprisingly, there are no missions out in the backyard. It's kind of disappointing because I feel like they could have done something with that. But, uh, I don't believe there are any shadows or... Go yeah, no ghosts in the backyard. S and there's no Spike, either. So now we must retrieve Spike wherever he is. I do not know. I want that... Oh, there's yeah, a ghost! Spiky, spiky, spiky. Look at that, though. I mean, like... That, uh, that might not be scary to you now. But to a kid... Like a little eight, seven-year-old... That you would shit your pants. See, look at that. Especially when they're hiding around the corners. Spike. Okay, basement's closed. I have a feeling... See, I don't really much mind the ghost. It, what's creepy is when you turn a corner and they're right fucking there. Yeah, nothing in there. I really kind of want to save these cookies, but it doesn't really matter at this point. Is the garage open? That's the question. Yes, it is. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, bitch, what's good? I have a flashlight yeah, with a, spiky, like, spiky, pumpkin spiky. filter on the... Did you see the front? Look, look at... Yeah, spiky, spiky, it's like a spiky. Halloween flashlight, son. All right, nothing. All right, so I guess he's upstairs, then. Well, let's just go upstairs. If I can ma- there we go. If I can manage to do this. Man, that really upsets me about the freaking aspect ratio. Not that it's a huge deal, but I'm so used to having it. I, well, I guess, I guess it's not. Oh, there's a ghost. 
Yeah, it's the sound they make too. That's creepy. Um, I, I guess it's not a matter of me. Like, I don't really mind it. What bothers me the most is the fact that I don't know what caused it. And for a second, I thought it was because I'm playing a PlayStation game. But then I, I, I thought back to myself, and I'm like, well, what Let's Plays? Have I done any Let's Plays with original PlayStation games? And I have. I've done, uh... I've done... All right, the dog is not in the bathroom. I've done uh, Spyro the Dragon, and I never had that problem with Spyro. So I'm curious as to why it did that. 14, one more, I got another free puzzle piece. Swag. I swear to God, oh, is that, whoa, geez. Don't camp. Oh, there's a the dog. What's up, Spike? Let me just activate, there we go. Tommy, you're too young for midnight snacks. I fixed the fuse, Deed. You light up my life, honey. Bad puns galore. Rugrats search for Reptar. All right, five more pieces to go. Now, one game... I see. I know the next couple games I'm going to do. And hopefully that'll push us over the edge. I'm not sure. We have five more. We only need one more Reptar bar. Four. Uh, four more. Okay, here's Grandpa's room. <laughs> Visitors from outside space. Good job. I've been looking for this. Now I can see if my paper is scooped the news again. Come on, Pop. That's not news. Those tabloids make all that up. They tell the truth. Your real news doesn't dare. See, right here. A whole family taken by aliens from outer space. They fly around in the middle of the night and suck you right out of bed. Whoop, up to the mothership. Come on, champ. Time for bed. Good night, champ. Sleep tight. One minute I'm lying in my crib, and then the next thing I know, I'm in this weird playpen. We must have got taken by aliens from outside space. <gasps> Anything but that. I escaped with this alien remote patrol I found, but it's only for grown-ups like me. <laughs> Angelica, you got to get us out of here. All right, keep your diaper on, but after this, you're on your own. The Earthlings have escaped. Don't let them get away. Danger, danger, danger. Danger, Will Robinson, danger. Yeah, guide Angelica through the alien spaceship to a shuttlecraft so that she can escape. Zap the TV robots by pressing... Triangle, click batteries to recharge the room. Yeah, this is basically... All right, I'm looking for an elevator. This is extremely similar, and by extremely similar, I mean more or less like a reskin of what we just did, except for a flashlight, we have a remote. And instead of ghosts, we have, like, aliens, I think? And we get to play as Angelica with our triangular sleeves. Oh, you can only zap them. You can't kill them? I thought you could kill them. All right, I'm zapping you, walk past you, there we go. Well, I'm running like a champ right now, if you notice. Looking for an elevator. Dude, run cycles for the win. Yeah, again, this is based off of a, um, uh, uh, episode of the game, or of the game, of the show. Man. Camera angles. Is that, are they gambling in here? Yeah, look at that. Can I interact with this? Hey, hang on. I have to gamble. Okay, maybe I can't. Maybe it was the lever. Maybe, I don't know. Point is, I'm going to shock you. I'm looking for an elevator here. I know I'm close. You got to be close, girlfriend. All right, here we go. Yeah, this looks familiar. I'm grab this battery. Oh, I probably need... Yeah, that. There we go. All right, so this is the elevator. Yeah, going down. Down, down, baby. My feet clip through the floor. Boom, boom, baby. 
might want to watch my health a little bit more than I have been. I don't want to die as a kid. Angelica's three, by the way. All the kids, the other kids are like one or less. Oh, about to get puzzle piece number, what, eight? Yeah, baby. Gonna put it right up here at the T.O.P. Ter terrific. Terrific. All right, back down to zero on the reptile bar count. Now, I don't know exactly what I'm looking for now. I'm assuming it's another elevator. Man, hashtag run cycles, dude. Oh, aliens is weird. Aliens. A-L-I-E-M-S. Aliens. This it? This is it. With these paper-thin guys. Over here, Earthling. What's your name, kid? You talking to me? I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Especially fish. I'm Sablito Feskerich, but my friends call me George. I'm from the planet Neptuna. That figures. Look, kid, I'll help you get out of here if you release me. Otherwise, I'm on the menu for tomorrow night's alien dinner. All right, but no fishy stuff. There she is. Get her. Turned off the gravity. Just swim. You're on your own, kid. Thanks a lot, fish face. Float the air twisting air ducts to make your way to the alien garage. Press X to float and circle to float lower. Alright. You notice in that cutscene how the stew bot, if you will, had cool. had like a third leg in between his regular two legs that he used for mobility, so it looked like he had like a swinging dick. Like, okay, sure, we'll go with that. Yeah, Reptar Bar. So this is actually, this might be the one of the coolest parts of the game. You just get to float around. So instead of a weird run cycle, you get a weird, like, I don't know, float cycle. Here we go, this is it. That's not very nice of you. Yeah, but turns out it was all the dream. I used to read word up. Nah. So, oh, we're doing a bonus level. Touchdown, Tommy. Football, baby. You'll be all right with the kids. Of course. You and Betty go enjoy yourselves. Well, all right. We'll be back in a couple of hours. Yes. Yes. Now you kids play nice and stay out of trouble. While we enjoy the Ultra Bowl. Fixed up something special for you, Sprout. Hmm. Bottles are for babies. Wow! Chocolate milk. Chocolate milk. Milk. Chocolate milk. But that's for grown-ups like me. No, it's not. Give me that. Yeah, so this is basically the exact same thing as the whole cookie uh, debacle. But instead of cookies, you just drink chocolate milk. So Lil's pretty much gonna get. Oh, I like. I love this too. The whole football f motif. No, I don't want to throw it. It's all for me. I didn't get any cookies. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but Lil didn't get like. Or no, maybe it was Phil. I don't know. I don't care. Angelica Pickles, what is this mess? Who was watching uh -oh. her? Uh-oh. Let's clean you up. <laughs> Three reptile bars, now we're back to five. There we go. Yeah, I noticed how... that the that they should have changed the texture on the bottle there, because apparently it was empty, but... It was still brown. And I don't know about you, but A, I've never seen a brown bottle, and B, bottles are supposed mm, to be see-through. Okay, here we go, next level. Ice Cream Mountain. I haven't golfed in ages. I'm taking the kids for ice cream, deed. <laughs> this is gonna be great. At the end of this majestic golf course stands Ice Cream Mountain. That's where I'm going to get a hole-in-one and win you kids so much ice cream, you'll be eating until you're grown-ups. So what if it's never been done before? 
We just gotta get the balls in the holes, and we'll get a whole mountain of ice cream. If we all do some, we'll be done in no time. Okay, now this one's probably the most uh, complicated one of the game. Approach the ball to make your golf club appear. Press the left or right buttons to aim. Press triangle to start the golf meter. The meter will move up and down. Press triangle again when it has moved to your desired strength. If your number of swings is higher than the par of the hole, you will have to try the hole again. All right, so you have to at least meet par on every hole. And there's like 10 holes, maybe, something like that. And uh, this this one was actually based off of a an episode, a, a now, rather... Oh, man, okay, gotta line this up. A rather, uh, memorable episode. And I can't remember... Alright, I'm gonna have to... Again soon. I'm gonna have to, uh, get used to this. Because this aiming system... It's a little fidgety, like, because like I said, this, this game was intended to be played without the analog sticks. So you have to use the D-pad for everything. Two is not bad. Can't skip the... Oh, yes, I can. Hey, all right, par five, going with Chucky. And you can use every single uh, kid in this. Now, what I find interesting is, look at the golf club up next to the ball. He's getting ready to swing, but it's like he's going to swing backward. Which I find interesting. This and getting a hole in one in this one is look. actually pretty difficult. It looks impossible. It looks impossible. Oh, get in there. Oh, it's close. I didn't want to hit it full strength because I could have knocked it down this hill and then been in a this world of trouble. Hard. A world of trouble. Into the into the hole. Oh, nice. You don't even have to technically watch it sink. It could just touch the outer rim of said hole. Man, I hope I do not have a persistent um, trouble with that stupid issue. How do I skip this? How do up oh, there we go? All right, Angelica, let's go. Now the cool thing about this one is you have this uh, obstacle in the middle, but the interesting thing about this is when it comes down, there's still enough space for the ball to go through. So pretty much it's just a straight shot if I can get it to where I want it, which I don't think I can. <laughs> Ah, all right, hang on. All right, fuck it. We'll just go with it. Yeah, no matter if it's up or down, it still has the room to go underneath. Even though I did not show off a good uh, example of that. Hole in one? Oh, bro. Yeah, now the cool thing about this is you can actually run around in between shots, in between, uh, you know, throughout the level and stuff. And that really isn't relevant until you get to one specific portion uh, one of the upcoming holes, and I'll show you which. I don't want a nice plastic spider. Yeah, the whole gimmick, this, the, um, the plot to the episode that was this was the guy who runs, the guy who runs the, the whole, oh, I love this toothpaste level, by the way. The guy who runs this whole operation, see, the gimmick to the, the park is, Whoever gets a hole in one on the last hole gets free ice cream for life. And. Want some ice cream? Sign. Yeah, he's a dick, too. And the whole gimmick was it was rigged to where you notice how Phil said nobody's ever gotten a hole in one on the very last hole. It's because the, the dude rigged it. And in the show, the kids, like, did something to where they, uh. They, they made it happen. To, like, they. they bug the system or something, not that they're special agents, but they made it to where the very last hole they did get a hole in one on. Now this one it does matter I really gotta change that free ice cream policy. when you hit it. So we're just gonna go with this here. There we go. Come on make it. There we go, made it. Anything? Yeah there's a small curve to the left. I love how all these holes too are are entranced by, uh, or entranced. Entranced is not the proper word I want here. Uh, engulfed? Something like that? Hole in two? Yeah, baby. By, uh, like, hedge maze. That's their, like, default texture to, to box things in, which I find pretty funny. Everything's in trees! Is this it? No, this one is not it. Now, this one 
is actually annoying because if you get your ball down into this pit, there's no way to get it out. Rather, I mean, if you hit it uh, full strength or not. So you have to basically take two shots to push it around the edge of said crater. And that's totally fine with me. Just don't go in the freaking pit. See, see how really gotta change that deep this is? Policy. It's pretty deep, man. And you can't jump either. I don't know why. Don't know why they took away jumping. They're probably like, Tiger Woods doesn't jump, but he does jump. Tiger Woods was around in 98, right? He was just getting started? I believe so. Is this the hole we're looking for? Okay, no, this is not the hole. But actually, this hole is one of the holes that actually scared me as a kid. Because this whole mu this music here will be playing during the whole thing. And I don't know if you noticed, but there's a Reptar in the back. And uh, once you get close enough to it, as you'll hear momentarily, it'll start to move. Hang on, listen for it. Yeah, it starts to move, and it starts to... It follows you. Whether you go left or right, it will follow you. Is, is that a Reptar bar I saw? It was a Reptar bar. It'll start to freaking follow you. This so as a kid, when you play this for the first time, you hop around that corner and you're like, oh, hey, it's Reptar, no big deal. And then it starts to, to like mimic your actions, like left or right, whatever. And it, to me, that scared the shit out of me. It really did. See, you hear it moving now, like the robotic texture. And you don't know, you never played this before, so it very well could hop off its pedestal and come and try to eat you. And you're a child. You're not going to put up a very good fight, and you'll be a, a light snack at best. Alright, so this is the hole. This is the hole that I you want to hop off the ball and go, go do stuff. This kind of actually breaks the game. Side. Which I'm perfectly okay with. Oh, look at Checky on the... Oh, they're on the little hieroglyphical things. So once I get the ball really close, I'm not going to to uh, sink it just yet. So I'm going to go ahead and get it close enough. That's fine with me. And then the cool thing is, you if you want a year supply, supply of nothing. nothing. Yeah, if you come over here, there's an entrance to this uh, pyramid. And once you go down here... There's a ton of Reptar bars down here. See, I just, I, I ended with six, okay? Now, let's keep that in mind. Seven? Or I guess that would be two, technically. Three? Now, you will eventually find enemies down here. There's four. You will find enemies down here, which are uh, Mr. Friends, but just dressed in, like, uh, ancient Egyptian garb, as you'll see momentarily. You can hear one. Up oh, there it is. Let me back there. Oh, it's a it's a mummy. All right, that's fine. There's two more. All right. I like how it still has your par and your swing up top too. Like you're actually still golfing. And if you stay down here long enough, there's like two or three of those rooms. And if you stay down here long enough, you will you will you'll get a lot of stuff, man. And you will eventually get lost. Okay, don't want to go out. But that's okay, because... Use the whole maze adage of... Just stick to the left wall, and eventually you'll find your way out. Which does work, by the way. Oh, here it is. Here's the treasure room. There we go. There's a piece as it gives me a seizure. Jeez. Alright, two more left. Once we complete... I know there's a freaking mummy around here somewhere. Once we complete this, uh this level in itself I was just in here wasn't I yes I was hello did it hurt me can you hurt me no here's there for share, uh, scare fact share factor scare factor and you can hear it coming too and soon bye bye just wanna I wanna be very thorough regardless of whether the camera wants me to be or not so, yeah, I picked up lots of freaking reptile bars down there. So, and that's the only place, that's the only, like, room, little bonus thingy. 
underneath here. I'm pretty darn freaking sure. Oh, another Reptar bar right there. I don't think I'm gonna get enough Reptar bars for another. Oh, I'm, I got whoa! I got stuck there for another one. So we're just gonna get this. Uh, oh, I'm gonna try to bank it off the back wall. Let's try this. We're gonna get the puzzle piece for beating the mini golf thing, and then we're gonna try. We'll probably try it. Oh, MLG Pro Tiger Woods hashtag awesome hashtag hashtag. If I start saying hashtag a lot, you can bitch at me, and I will not feel. I will not. I will not. I won't blame you for it. Yeah, I like this too because you have ice cream sandwiches here, and like those rocket pops, which I used to eat a fuck ton. I ate more ice cream sandwiches when I was little. I think this is the last hole, actually. Nine holes, I believe so. Come on, hole in one. Oh, dicks. Yeah, it, Ice Cream Mountain's right here, as you can see. There's a fudge sickle, too. That was pretty stupid because that should have went in. So I'm going to get Ice Cream Mountain on two swings. We did it! Yeah! Reach out, kids. Now I'm going to get you all the ice cream you can eat because it's free. Yay! Now, I'm pretty sure there's not a, any sort of bonus if you do indeed get one uh, hole in one, the last one. Could be wrong. I don't know. But now, all we have is one level left. And just out of the interest of fairness, I'm going to do one of the hard levels. Now, there's uh, Toy Palace. Which I'm not going to do. Fuck that one because it's so hard. There's Seven Voyages of Cynthia. Mm, and then there's uh, Incident on Isle 7. Hmm. Mm, How should I decide this? Can I, is there, I? Do I have like a coin or something? What do I have to decide this? Hmm. Hmm. How do I do this? I don't have a. Uh, I could get up and get a coin. But that would like take effort and shit. Yeah, this is definitely going to be decided on a level, not a... You know what? Fu just fuck it. We'll do Toy Palace. This one's really hard. Hey, my old Thor doll from Toy Palace. Hmm. Toy Palace. If you want to go. Dee Dee, I'm taking Tommy and Chucky to the store. Wow, Willy Warp Time Translator. This is the bestest place ever. I wish we never had to leave. Maybe we don't. Here we go again. Oh, the cold fusion reactor's not even included. Let's go, kids. The Toy Palace is now closed. Thank you for shopping, Toy Palace. Tommy? Tommy? Oh, I got a bad feeling about this. Couple things I want to point out. First of all, Stu Pickles is the worst father ever. Second of all, I saw in the background there were uh, Mr. Friends in boxes. So it looks like uh, Stu actually did something right and invented something that people wanted to buy and got it on shelves. All right, be brave and work your way through the dark in a store to find Tommy. Watch where you walk. Getting too close to certain toys will frighten Chucky. Pass safely through the clown area to meet up with Tommy. Now, if I remember correctly, yeah, check this out. Fucking freaky, dude. Mr. Friend. On sale now. I want this ball. Little Tommy dolls. Oh, shit. My reptar bar. I'm, if I remember correctly, in the show... Thorg, which was, if you were paying attention, it was the large... Ah, shit, that scared me. What the f... Dude, ha oh, oh. I want to throw shit at you. Hang on. That did nothing. Great. If I remember correctly, Thorg was Reptar's main nemesis. Oh, yeah, it's just if he gets frightened, I lose HP. Hey, I'm not scared to get around here. <laughs> Are you mocking me? I don't like this. I don't like it either, but I have to do it. There's a fucking clown there. I want this health. There we go. Oh, just so if I run into it, 
if I run into it, then I get hurt. I, oh, man. This thing, too. Oh, my God. What in the hell? It possessed Jack in the Box. What the fuck? Oh, it was the... the oh, the ones that are lit up. That's the one you don't want to touch. There's a ball pit, which is nice. I hear Mr. Friends. Oh, or a, another possessed Jack in the Box. It's me. Oh, Tommy, I'm so glad to see you. There was clouds and robots, but now everything's okay. Thorg hungry! Ah! Thorg won't eat! Ah! Yeah! Thorg hungry! Ah! Thorg won't eat! Ah! Reptar can save us, but he's asleep. We got to climb up there and push that button to wake him up. Yeah, this is the only hard part about the thing. Collect the Reptar boxes and place them on the stairs in the Reptar room in order to climb up to the switch and turn on Reptar. The boxes are hidden all over, so be sure to look high and low. Press circle to pick up a box and press circle again when you have it placed in the right place on the stairs. Watch out for Thorg. It's so Reptar, Thorg, as I said, that big-ass motherfucking purple uh, enemy, you don't want to fuck with Thorg. Okay, you need one... Or no, you need... How many do you need? I think you just need one, actually. Because uh, you have one right there. You can't Look use all this stuff. Chucky. If this is a lot easier than I thought it was, then I'm going to be really pissed at my young... Okay, just fall Look right through there. Wait, I want to go up here. There we go. I like how they they almost get sued for copyrights, too. It just As you can see, there's so Legos nice. in the background. And it's actually kind of what we're climbing on, too. At least on the floor. Oh yeah, the oh, man. If I could just jump. Reptar will save us. Reptar will not save us. Reptar bar. I want to go find an easy one to get. Yeah, Legos, and then earlier you saw. Look at all the toys. Uh, what was it? Crayons, like on the walls. Motherfucker. Oh, I can go over here. I can go up this easy ass ramp. And you random penguin dolls. Me? Hashtag random penguin. Oh motherfucker. Wait for it. I like this ramp made out of boxes. There must be someone that's a uh, I that's astute. Oh mother! F you might just lose this with. Oh, actually, before I do this, I do want to go find. Look at all this stuff. The actual Thorg room. Oh yeah, piano. This is not the Thorg room. Yeah, this is the Care Bears ripoff room. Can I climb this? No, I can't. The Thorg room. Here it is. Look at this! As a kid... Oh, I want this box. As a kid, this scared the shit out of me. It's, it's a big monkey! And it chases you around! Run away! I am running away, bitch. Alright, easy enough. No. Oh, shit. Not easy enough. Where was I going? I believe it's in here? It's through here, I believe. Here. Yes, here we go. Alright, so... What we have to do, we can climb with the box. Oh, yeah, that's right. We can't. Oh, motherfucker. We need, like, three more boxes. Son of a bitch. Gosh, diddly dang darn it. All right, this one's easy enough. I just fucked it up in the beginning. Hop and hop and hop and jump. There we go. The jumping in this game, it's to the point where whenever you do jump... Reptar will save you us. want to like if it's a if it's a short hop like that, then you want to. There's nothing to be scared How do I explain of? this? You jump and then move yourself in the air, instead of moving and then jumping. If that makes any sense. Here's a reptar bar, and I'm gonna jump this way and not make it. All right, I don't want I don't want this box anyway. I'm gonna go find my own box. Reptar will blackjack. Save us. And hookers. Any, no, there's nothing in this. Another reptar bar. Damn, at this pace, I'm going to win the game off of reptar bars. All right, so this Look one the toys. is not hard. I just have to make the freaking jump. There we go. I knew it was easy. All right, gonna bring this box back. And after this one, reptar will save us. I need two more box, or actually one more after this. So you put this one there, and then you get, go get one more to 
bridge the gap that I initially needed to bridge at the beginning. As you can hear, planes flying in the background, little toy planes. And here's another box. Jumping. I don't know why I said this one was freaking hard. I, I say that because when I was a kid, in the back of my mind, I, I would spend like a half an hour on this level because it was so hard. Nothing to be I am playing this on a PlayStation 2, by the way, and not a... Oh, oh, there we go. Not a, um... Can I get up here now? Yes, I can. Not a regular PlayStation. Halt, I am Reptar. Halt, I am Reptar. Halt, I am Reptar. Get him, Reptar! Tommy, Chucky, where were you? Oh, I'm so glad to see you again. I had to bribe a security guard to let me in here. Lucky I had those donuts. I got all the way out to my car and I realized that you guys were dolls. So I had to come back and get you. All right, game over. Terrific. You did it. You found all the Reptar puzzle pieces. Oh, what is this one? I don't remember this. Or do I? I don't, I don't know. Hey, you found all your puzzle pieces. Good job, kids. But now it's time to go night-night. You've all had a very busy day today. Sleep tight. <laughs> Reptar. That's right, I remember this now. You get to be Reptar. Stomp through the city to reach Reptar's goal, City Hall. Run into buildings and knock them down. Press triangle to chomp, square to, or circle to breathe fire, and X for a rumble jump. This is, Bob this is awesome. This is like your small little, like, um, dude. Your small little reward for beating the game. Do you get to... Oh, I'm going to breathe... Goodness, Breathe fire! I remember this. Oh, dude. This is one of those cool things about games from your your early life where you remember it just enough to remember what it was, but you don't remember, like, the cool small stuff. And this is cool. I don't give a shit what anybody says. What's triangle? Wow, this green giant is not very jolly. You have a TV reporter simulating like a emergency news broadcast in the background. And you just get to, you know, generally destroy things, and it's pretty fun. Oh yeah, I get to jump on this bridge. Give me a second. Give me a second. There we go. Alright, I'm going right, I guess. Our goal here is to get to town hall. Because you know. When I'm a, when I don't know about you, but when I'm controlling a giant monster, I want to get rid of the supreme authority. All right, this is apparently not the way we're supposed to go, and that would be town hall. And whenever you jump, it makes this rattling uh, animation every time. Can I get through here? Oh, this is Toy Palace. Hey, fuck Toy Palace. Wee. Oh, you get to chew things. Can I chew this bubble thing? No, I can't. My face goes right through it. All right. Collision detection. Uh, what's that an ad for? Chicken man used cars. Four ninety five for a car? Yes, please. Although it must not be a very good car. The chicken man used cars. Dude, the freaking camera is awesome. Oh, we need a. What is that in there? What is that? Oh, it's like a. Window. All right, dude. Oh, I saw I, I saw that in-game placement thing, that Rugrats movie thing. How do I? Am I going backward? I believe I am. Hang on. Did I miss something? Did I miss something in my destruction and terror? I believe I probably did. Cause we're supposed to get up here. Am I supposed to go through Toy Palace? Cause I have this rumble jump. I have the flame breath. So I'm like Bowser, pretty much. There's no climbing or anything, by the way. When you, when you when you jump, you barely go up at all. 
What am I missing? I should not be confused at Rugrat Search for Reptar. I found him. I won. It's uh, This is the bonus. I should not be confused on the bonus as opposed to the actual game. I wish I could turn the freaking camera. But no, it still has these weird ass. There's a crash on the freeway involving 200 cars and a giant reptilian monster. You want to steer clear of that one. All right, I'm getting frustrated. Is why would they go, why would they why would they give you like any misdirection? All right, I guess we'll just go the way I thought we should go. You just turn the camera. There we go. All right. I'm gonna destroy Rhino's burgers because they probably have shitty food anyway. Am I going the right way? Jim's garage. J Y M. Well, here it is. I couldn't take any more of that. Yep, that's the end of the game. Oh boy, yeah, apparently he did not want to destroy Town Hall, he just wanted to do his own form of the Charleston in front of the fucking the, the, the building. Kathleen Cappers, yeah, there's no read the fun Japanese names in here because this is all, look at that, black arts, racism. I'm assuming these credits should not be very long. And no, you don't really unlock any sort of super special fun thing uh, once you beat it. At least I don't remember. I'm assuming you don't. As always, Liesl, Sarah, Tina, and Michelle, Bonnie, Jean, Bradley, and Jennifer, of course. Steve Rhino. Oh, there we go. Jim. Jim Kelly. That's why it was Jim's... Oh, I see. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Kevin Hooper. Amy Greenholds. Mark Ellermeyer. Edward Ramiro. Yeah, so I read this. It's a lot easier when you're my age instead of my age when I initially started playing this game. But if you have, you know, the opportunity to pick it up and you want a good laugh and uh, an easy way to kill 20 minutes, pick it up. It's a, it's a, it's a, I don't even want to say it's a good game. It's not, but it's, it's, it's okay. <laughs> It's mainly the the D the D pad and the camera angles that throw me off. If if they would have designed this game like I don't see I don't I don't know the timeline when it comes to oh I didn't look up that picture. Uh, I don't know the timeline when it comes to when they initially released the DualShock, but if they would have waited and they would have gotten to the point where they, uh, let's see, where is this? I'm getting my Facebook on my phone. If they had gotten to the point where, oh, it's over. We did it for the children. Oh, I almost missed that. If they had designed it with the, um, the dual shock in mind and where made it to where you can use the left the joystick for movement and the right joystick for camera, then, uh, shit. The game would have been good, you know, or at least a hell of a lot better. If it would have given you free reign of your motion. Hang on, I'm on my phone right now. I gotta find this Hey Arnold picture. I'm gonna cut forward until I find it. You know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna put it in the video. That's a lot easier. Alright, so thank you so much for watching. Oh, I got a comment. Oh, I'm on my phone. Alright, thank you so much for watching. And until the next Rugrats game, I'm Broken Champion. We're done here.